All right, well, here I am once again, out in the woods, just getting uh, everything started. Um, I am uh, heading out to Merlin Meadows Campground today. It's uh, probably about an eight, nine hour hike or so from just kind of just kind of right behind uh, Lake Louise ski area. Um, you can see there's a few other people here. It's my car, somebody else's car, and then uh, white car there. I track back there. Um, so I just got here. These people obviously got here before me. It's about uh, 8.30 in the morning right now. Um, it's about a two-hour drive for, for me to get here. Uh, so I got up at about 5.30. Left the house at 6. Got here at 8. Anyways, I don't know what uh, these guys are doing. Um, maybe they're ending their trip. Uh, today is Monday. Um, I talked to the uh, the camp or sorry the uh, the park uh, people earlier today about uh, what's going on out here apparently I'm the only one staying at this campground um, and there's very few people in the area uh, I'll be staying just the one night and uh, heading back tomorrow um, the plan is to leave here uh, shortly a couple minutes and then uh, by the time I get to my campsite um, should you know getting around dinner time that sort of thing uh she had plenty of time to set up the uh the tent get everything prepared and then there's a lake uh it's about a kilometer or so at least it looks to be about a kilometer or so on the map uh from the campsite so i'm gonna go check that out and uh, just kind of see what's going on in that area it's the first time i've been out here um should be fun I'm just gonna show you the uh the pack and everything real quick so here's the pack i'll be using the Kefaru Mountain Warrior. Got my Black Diamond trekking poles, seat pad. Um, I've got my uh, Kefaru tent and everything in there. Uh, I didn't weigh the pack, but I guess it's somewhere in around 30 pounds right now. Um, I brought my bear spray again here. And I've added a couple pouches on the uh, on the hip belt just to carry some snacks and uh, GPS and that sort of thing. Um, you guys have seen this before, but uh, it's just another quick little show. Um, the last time I used those trekking poles. Uh, was at Glacier Lake earlier this year and they were awesome for uh, for picking up speed however on the way back from Glacier Lake I got a pretty nasty blister on the inside of my palm um, which is now turned into a callus but uh, just be aware of that if you're uh, fairly new to tracking poles as I am um, there are some uh, limitations and some possible injuries involved um, anyways I'm gonna uh, get my pack loaded and get going Well, I'm kind of pissed with myself. I just traveled down the wrong road for, oh, 45 minutes or so. Now I'm heading back. I'm also giving up probably somewhere in the range of 600 or 700 feet in elevation. Um, it was a bit of a struggle getting up. It's all on a uh, gravel slash dirt road, but still, it. Uh, um, what I've been doing right from the uh, right from the car, I've been following this gravel road, and I just kept on following it, and it just brought me to the top of the mountain, uh, well, at least to the top where the. Uh, top of the gondola, the ski lift. Um, <laughs> to be fair, I got a couple of pictures up there, some pretty nice views. Was it worth it? I don't know, I'll let you be the judge. So what do you think? Was it worth it? I don't know, they were pretty good pictures, but basically the top of that, you follow the road that way, it goes up and around, some pretty steep grades. 
Um, if you look at the mountain across the way there, you can see the ski lift across the way. It's basically level with that, but on this mountain instead of that one. Um, oh well, such is life. I uh, got to the top, to the uh, gondola there, and there was a question as to whether the trail kept on going the way I thought it did, which was through some snow right to the peak of the mountain, which didn't quite seem right. Um, or if it went down what looked like to be a ski run, which also didn't seem right. So I checked the GPS. Turns out I was off trail for quite a while. Um, you can see down below me here, um, right down there is a little hut. That's, uh, looks like that's where the trail diverges from the road. Um, I didn't see any signs or anything, but I may have just missed it. So we'll see in a few minutes when I get back down there. Anyways, just thought I'd give you an update to see, tell you what's going on. All right, so yeah, um, this was definitely my fault. Uh, where is it? Right there's the sign. Uh, there you go. Um, and right behind me, you see that little uh, that building right there? So I got there. I think about 10.30 or so, it is now noon. So I've actually lost an hour and a half. Um, completely my fault. I should have checked the map, should have checked the GPS more often. Uh, so lesson learned, every, every little uh, fork in the road or intersection or whatever, I'm gonna check just to be sure I'm on trail. Don't assume, because I just lost like I said, give or take 700 feet uh, in elevation and uh, also about an hour and a half in time. Um, this trail is also heading straight back up. So not only did I lose a whole bunch of elevation, it looks like I'm about to take it back just on a different route. <sighs> That's foolish. Um, oh well, lesson learned. Uh, so for those of us who have never been here before and plan to come here, when you get to that little lodge right there, and you'll notice it because there's, you cross over a, uh, where's on the camera, a bridge right there. And then just over here, there's another little bridge. Don't go over the second bridge. <laughs> go over the first one and then make a right You'll see that sign, that one right there, and uh, follow that. Okay. Right now, I'm standing on the top of Boulder Pass. I know there's a little bit of wind, I hope you can hear this, but uh, behind me you can see Baker Lake. And I'll show you kind of around. That's the direction I just came from right there behind me. Absolutely beautiful right here. But it's been good. I, uh, there's a uh, cabin about halfway. Uh, forget the name of it right now, I'll annotate that. Um, this is a great hike. I love this. Uh, I've run into two people uh, heading back home uh, on the way up here. Um, 
And I noticed it just behind me, just as I turned around right now, there's a, another couple uh, walking this way. I'm sure they spent the weekend here. Um, decided to give you a little update to show you where I'm at. Beautiful weather, beautiful country, great views. This is amazing. I love it. Um, as far as water, there is water everywhere. There's no need to worry about that at all. Um, I brought with me a one liter uh, smart water bottle and my uh, platypus system, which is a, a two liter dirty water bag and a two liter clean water bag and the filter. Uh, so far I've uh, filtered just a couple of liters, uh, two liters plus the, the liter that I originally brought. Um, I'm down to about half a liter right now. Um, but I'm uh, just about at the lake. So I'm going to go head down there and see what there is to see. So, I am on the side of uh, Rockfall. Let's see. There. 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 I uh, met up with a guy on the trail who was going to go to a different lake and hang out, but uh, he decided to come along with me. Um, and then we got to. Lodge, uh, Skokie Lodge or something like that. Um, decided to set up camp there instead. It's, uh, it's gorgeous there. It's got picnic tables and all sorts of stuff. It's a, uh, it's a ski lodge, but uh, obviously there's nobody there right now. So we figured we set up camp there, and right now we've got the tent set up and had some uh, had some dinner, and then we figured we'd go out to uh, this lake, but uh, that snow down there where the trail goes and it's pretty deep so we decided to climb up the rocks a little bit to see if we could go over um, I've decided that I don't want to do that and so I'm just hanging out waiting for uh, everybody to come back and uh, head back so he's just sitting up there uh, I don't know somewhere uh, taking pictures that sort of thing uh, from where he's standing, you can actually see both the lodge um, and the uh, the lake itself. But uh, I just don't feel comfortable climbing over these rocks, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to hang out here, see how that goes. Uh, but I think tonight I'm going to head back, sit by the uh, there's a couple chairs, I'm going to sit by the by the river, and just kind of listen to the listen to the water. Maybe make another video, so you can take some pictures. And uh, maybe some hot chocolate before bed. We'll see. See you in a little bit. Oh, and uh, I suppose I should show you the view from where I'm standing. So here is the view from where I'm standing on the side of this uh, rock fall. would go through the snow and match up uh, right in there somewhere. You can see it kind of peeking out right there. But yeah, so for those of you wondering why it is that I come out here, views like this is why I come out here. This is absolutely beautiful.